Gotta be honest, folks, nine times out of ten, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that was a bad pun. Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain, and we are looking at a cider today. This is Cider Donut Premium Small Batch Hard Cider from Beacon Skiff Apple Orchards. They were established in 1911, handcrafted in New York, made from 100% fresh cider, tree to can, gluten-free. 6.9% ABV, produced by Beak and Skiff Apple Farms Incorporated, Lafayette, New York, Lafayette. Uh, family owned. Uh, they've got a sweetness scale of 1 to 6. They mark it as a 5. 1911 Cider Donut Hard Cider is blended with brown sugar and spices to create the warm, toasty, Perfectly fall flavor of this favorite sweet treat. All right, there's a bunch of history of the company there, or not company, but probably the orchard. We're going to farm, however you want to call it. We're going to skip over that. We're going to get to this stuff. i got to give a quick thanks to Seth and Alicia L. for sending this my way. Hey, two free cans of cider, and you asked me to review it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I don't know what kind of relationship, if any, you guys might have with these folks. So, I'm going to give you the fair and unbiased review. I will also say, though, if you guys are ever in the central main area, make sure to swing by Lemus Orchards for a real cider donut. Those things are fucking awesome. Um... They started making donuts down there a little while ago, and they've got a few different flavors, but the apple cider ones are amazing. Um, anyway, just a little quick endorsement of a local business that really deserves it. So, <clears throat> this is a nice, clear, golden cider. It is quite effervescent. Lots of bubbles coming up through there. I wasn't able to put a good head on it, but you know what? You usually can't with a cider anyway. I struggle with putting a head on a beer, so... Cider is going to be extra tricky, but that is very clear, not hazy at all. It does have a slightly brownish color to it, but otherwise looks like a just a bubbly apple juice. The cider tends to be a little cloudy, typically. Um, I don't know if it's the brewing process or whatever, but I think when we take the sugars out of it with yeast in order to create a hard cider that's what clarifies it i don't know i might just be pulling that out of my ass i'll have to look that up but <clears throat> a true apple cider rather than a hard cider is going to be very cloudy and thicker than this but <clears throat> hard ciders tend to look just like this Mostly getting an apple aroma. Um, it's got a slight hint of bitterness. I mean, those of you who know hard cider versus apple juice, you're going to get a bitterness. You're not going to get that sweet aroma or as strong of an apple aroma that you do from like an apple juice from concentrate, which is what most of us are used to drinking. But I'm not getting any alcohol, like any boozy aroma. At a 6.9%, I would normally expect at least a little bit of that booziness to come through. So maybe they sweetened it up enough to cover that. But yeah, just a nice, slightly bitter apple aroma. Oh, damn. It's very smooth and crisp. It's teetering between a light and medium light mouthfeel. And it's not quite up to medium light, but it is heavier than a really light mouthfeel. So it's got a little bit of body to it. There's no, there's a very slight hint of booziness. It is very sweet. I guess on a five out of six, I, I'd have to give it that. They, they got that spot on. 
little hint of sourness, a little hint of sourness and booziness in the finish. Um, none of that bitterness that I was getting in the aroma really carries through. But there's definitely, definitely cinnamon in there. It doesn't mention cinnamon on the label though, but I'm tasting cinnamon. And that could be in my head. Hmm. It's like mostly apple, but then when you swallow, I'm getting some cinnamon on the back, on the back end. But again, they don't mention it, so it could just be my imagination. As far as hard ciders go, this one's pretty solid. I mean, there's nothing, it, nothing really unique or different or. Uh, mind-blowing that's jumping out at me, but I also am not able to find any faults with it either. And to be at 6.9% ABV and not have any of that booziness come through, that's, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. I have a feeling that the brown sugar added has something to do with that. It might also be contributing to the cinnamon that I'm picking up on, although brown sugar tends to be more molassesy than cinnamon, so again, that could still just be in my head. But um, yeah, like I said, it, it's not blowing my mind, but it's really solid, really well put together. <sighs> I'm kind of stalling here because I'm I'm teetering on giving it a three and a half or a four. <sighs> Whew, excuse me. Now I don't use a scale of one to six; I use a scale of one to five like untapped does um, and I don't give the quarter ratings but on a scale of one to five a two and a half would be average I think I'm gonna hit this with a three and a half um, like I said it's just really well put together I like it but there's nothing unique or mind-blowing about it it's not quite edging up into that four category for any sort of uniqueness or special flavor but Again, I can't find any faults with it, which is why it's getting that three and a half, which is a significantly above average rating. Um, it's solid. I mean, I'll throw this in with Angry Orchard or any of the bigger companies and it'll hold its own. Hell, I sure as hell wouldn't turn it down. It's disappearing pretty quick and that second can is... Um, it's in danger of being drank tonight as well. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the night goes. But, uh, yeah. It's solid. But that's just what I have to say about it. Folks, hit me down, down below in the comments with the email link. Let me know what you have to say about this site or yourself. Um, thanks again to Seth and Alicia L. for passing this along. It's uh, really good. I'm always a fan of freebies. If you guys have something out there that you want reviewed, hit me up as well. Let me know about it. If uh, if I can find it in the local area, I do try to fulfill all viewer requests. I have, a, I have a list going right now of stuff that I haven't been able to find, but I'm still looking. Actively looking, guys. Um, and if you have something that you really, really want to pass along, like I said, I'm always up for free beer. Uh, I'll take uh, any, uh, anything you want reviewed. Even home brews. Gotten a couple from my man JM, Jay McKay. Uh, reviewed a couple of those. I'm always open to doing more home brews. So, again, hit me up, submit it. I'll try to at least get a second opinion in the same video with it, if not more than that, but usually only two because Boosh is the only one who's usually available all the time. Anyway, I think I've run off of the mouth enough for this video. Um, like I said, Hit me up with any of those concerns down in the comments, the email link while you're down there. Don't forget to like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.